श्री कृष्ण रिज्यूमिनेटिंग टेक्स्ट 19, टेक्स्ट 20 एंड टेक्स्ट 21 ऑफ चैप्टर 18 महाराज परीक्षित कर्स बाय ब्राह्मण बॉय ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम टेक्स्ट 19 कुतः पुनरागृणतो नाम तस्य महत्त मैकांत परायणस्य यो अनंत शक्तिर भगवान नंतो महद गुणत्वाद यमनंत माहुह व्हाट टू स्पीक ऑफ दोस who are under the direction of the great devotees chanting the holy name of the unlimited who has unlimited potency the personality of godhead unlimited in potency and transcendental by attributes is called the ananta the unlimited the dvija bandhu or the less intelligent uncultured men born of higher castes put forward many arguments against the lower caste men becoming brahmanas in this life they argue that birth in a family of shudras or less than shudras is made possible by one's previous sinful acts and that one therefore has to complete the terms of disadvantages due to lower birth and to answer these false logicians shrimad bhagavatam asserts that one who chants the holy name of the lord under the direction of a pure devotee can at once get free from the disadvantages due to a lower caste birth a pure devotee of the lord does not commit any offense while chanting the holy name of the lord there are 10 different offenses in the chanting of the holy name of the lord to chant the holy name under the direction of a pure devotee is offenseless chanting offenseless chanting of the holy name of the lord is transcendental and therefore such chanting can at once purify one from the effects of all kinds of previous sins this offenseless chanting indicates that one has fully understood the transcendental nature of the holy name and has thus surrendered unto the lord transcendentally the holy name of the lord and the lord himself are identical be absolute the holy name of the lord is as powerful as the lord the lord is the all powerful personality of godhead and he has innumerable names which are all not different from him and are equally powerful also in the last word of the bhagavad gita the lord asserts that one who surrenders fully unto him is protected by all types of sins by the grace of the lord since his name and he himself are identical the holy name of the lord can protect the devotee from all effects of sins the chanting of the holy name of the lord can undoubtedly deliver one from the disadvantages of a lower caste birth the lord's unlimited power is extended on and on by the unlimited expansion of the devotees and incarnations and thus every devotee of the lord and incarnations also can be equally surcharged with the potency of the lord since the devotee is surcharged with the potency of the lord even fractionally the disqualification due to lower birth cannot stand in the way text 20 एताविताल Consequently, no one can speak of him adequately. Great demigods cannot obtain the favor of the goddess of fortune even by prayers. But this very goddess renders service unto the Lord, although he is unwilling to have such service. The personality of Godhead or the Parameshwara Parabrahma, according to the Shrutis, has nothing to do. He has no equal, nor does anyone excel him. He has inconceivable potencies. and his every action is done systematically in his natural and perfect ways thus the supreme personality of godhead is full in himself and he has nothing to accept from anyone else including the great any gods like brahma others ask for the favor of the goddess of fortune and despite such prayers she declines to award such favors but still she renders service unto the supreme personality of godhead although he has nothing to accept from her the personality of godhead in his garbhodaksha vishnu feature begets brahma the first created person in the material world 
from his navel lotus stem and not in the womb of the goddess of fortune who is eternally engaged in his service these are some of the instances of his complete independence and perfection that he has nothing to do does not mean that he is impersonal he is transcendentally so full of inconceivable potencies that simply by his willing everything is done without physical or personal endeavor he is called therefore yogeshwara or the lord of all mystic powers text 21 athapi yatapada nakhav srushtam jagada virin choparutarah ram vah sesham punatya nyatamo mukundat ko nama loke bhagavat padarthah who can be worthy of the name of the supreme lord but the personality of godhead shri krishna brahma ji collected the water emanating from the nails of his feet in order to award it to lord shiv as a worshipful welcome this very water the ganges is purifying the whole universe including lord shiv the conception of many gods in the vedic literatures by the ignorant is completely wrong the lord is one without a second but he expands himself in many ways and this is confirmed in the vedas such expansions of the lord are limitless but some of them are the living entities the living entities are not as powerful as the lord's plenary expansions and therefore there are two different types of expansions lord brahma is generally one of the living entities and lord shiv is the via medium between the lord and the living entities in other words even demigods like lord brahma and lord shiv who are the chief amongst all demigods are never equal to or greater than lord vishnu the supreme personality of godhead the goddess of fortune lakshmi and all powerful demigods like brahma and shiva are engaged in the worship of vishnu lord krishna therefore who can be more powerful than mukunda lord krishna to be actually called the supreme personality of godhead the goddess of fortune lakshmi ji lord brahma and lord shiva are not independently powerful they are powerful as expansions of the supreme lord and all of them are engaged in the transcendental loving service of the lord and so also are the living entities there are four sects of transcendental worshipful devotees of the lord and the chief amongst them are the brahma sampradaya rudra sampradaya and shri sampradaya descending directly from lord brahma lord shiva and the goddess of fortune lakshmi respectively besides them the above mentioned three sampradayas there is the kumar sampradaya descending from sanat kumar all of the four original sampradayas are still scrupulously engaged in the transcendental service of the lord up to date and they all declare that lord krishna mukunda is the supreme personality of godhead and no other personality is equal to him or greater than him hari krishna